All right, back to Suela Braverman's trip to Rwanda a couple of days ago. We've already reported uh, what she achieved there and also the, the way the media were triggered because of a joke she made that when she went into one of the, the new housing uh, state that they've created for the migrants, uh, the upcoming migrants, uh, they said that, well, she made a joke about the interior designer. If she, if she loved it so much, she should move to Rwanda herself. There's another thing that we missed. And we already, t- I talked about it on Twitter already. Some of you might have, might have already seen. The, the media hacks and the social media trolls on the left decided to keep tweeting this photo of Suela laughing outside uh, some of these buildings that are going to turn into houses and flats for migrants in Rwanda. For example, this idiot said, it's just a home secretary laughing merrily in front of uh, the offshore detention center should dreams of sending refugees and modern slavery victims to it's not detention centers they're also going to be their houses and it's going to look so lovely so calm down and rwanda is now prosperous it's developing it's green it's nice the weather is great they're going to have a lot of job opportunities business opportunities and they can be happy and they will be safe if they are genuine political refugees they will be safe that's the key point would you rather be, be, you know, get free housing in Rwanda and a job and everything else or walk around the streets of Birmingham or Luton homeless without a job. This is the problem that the media are not talking about. But they got all triggered because of this photo. But there, there was a problem with this photo, that the one I just showed you, this one. Because even Dan Hodges said, this photo will define Suella Braverman's political career. And not, I suspect, in a good way. The issue with this was that it was slightly manipulated, this photo. It showed the Home Secretary of the British government laughing like an evil person. Ha, ha, ha. Everyone else is so, like, people who build these houses, like, standing in a corner, like, ooh, we are the victims here. Well, the real photo was this. Actually, there's another photo uh, beyond this. This is semi-cropped. The representatives of uh, this construction and the Rwanda scheme uh, in Rwanda itself and they decided to crop these two people out who were also having a laugh. They, you know, they were happy that they accomplished the mission. But this is the actual photo. There's another person that they also cropped out. <laughs> also because, because this photo, this version of the uh, image, also shows how, how beautiful Rwanda looks these days. Uh, with the mountains and the green scenery and everything else. They didn't really want to show uh, this image. Uh, to actually show the real side of Rwanda and, and, and from this angle. And they wanted to show, just show that building at the, the, just behind uh, Suela Braverman, who was apparently laughing like an evil home secretary. This is so important, this video, because it's, it's about how we must counter. It's either, like, either fake news or edited news, amended or semi-misleading or something, because most of the time these people are becoming smart now. And they don't really just give you a complete fake news they do relatively fake news so that there's enough evidence that it's true, this story happened, but then they decided to spin it. And that's that's why my job is here to fix the spin of the media and social media. So James O'Brien, oh my God, let's go to James O'Brien. So James O'Brien of LBC, he has another beauty. He said, exactly 200 years after <laughs> William the Wilberforce founded the Anti-Slavery Society, here is Suella Braverman at a facility to which she hopes to deport trafficked victims of modern slavery. Oh, trafficked victims of modern slavery. The same trafficked victims who <laughs> pick up all their money and savings in their countries, give it to people smugglers voluntarily and get on a boat from the safe country of France and come to the UK. Yeah, this is the same thing as someone actually kidnapping someone and say, oh, I don't want to go to the UK. Oh. And then you somehow end up in the UK. This is the problem with the, the agenda of the political left right now because they're completely manipulating everything that's happening in real life. We have to count that. We have to do it now before it gets too late. So we got more comments like this. This Philip guy said, oh God, just hanging out, having a laugh, building a camp in which we will concentrate refugee populations. Oh, what shall we call it? What is this obsession with 1930s Germany? Seriously, it's ever since Gary um, Lineker brought up 1930s Germany again, because it comes up every now and then, it's escalated. Now, over the last few days, over the last week or so, every single political leftist on, on Twitter, for example, or on, on TV, when they try to counter 
the the new policy of Suella that's to ban illegal migration. They keep going back to Himmler and Goebbels and those idiots. It's so sad. Another one. This person is allegedly a doctor, Dr. Dan. Sorry, looks like an um, effing concentration camp to me. Up in the mountains, away from civilizations. Your parents must be so proud. A uh, fun fact, that place is 10 minutes away from all the resources in the city. They stop lying to the public. They look at the picture and say, well, that looks they're, they're very much isolated, completely away from the world. If you scream, no one can hear you. No, <laughs> the transport link is perfect. Everything's going to be great. And stop, it's not really a prison. <laughs> it's going to be the houses. They're going to have to obviously stay there until they, they, they get processed. And once their paperwork is sorted, then that's fine. They can just live freely like a normal person. Calm down. All right, another one. This person has an OBE, apparently. She, uh, he said, is she posing at an internment camp? <laughs> Hashtag Germany 1930s. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not going to cover this one. Okay. And then we got another one. This guy basically didn't even bother doing a caption. He just basically um, did a Photoshop and put Suella's picture in front of uh, uh, Auschwitz, literally the camp in Austria. They're, they're not even being subtle anymore. Absolutely not subtle. Another photo. This is literally Germany in 1930s. Like they, these images. And he, is, is this really appropriate? I'm also, is this how you win the arguments? What happened to intellectual arguments? No, 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 no. That's gold. That's out of window now these days. Another one. <laughs> They're creating something. Also, the left can't meme. When will they learn? The left cannot meme. This person said, this This just in. Hashtag Cruella Braverman. Actually, I quite like that one. That's quite funny. Cruella <laughs> instead of Suella. But come on. They can't meme. Stop bothering. We're trying to... Um, having some sort of counter argument without having any intellectual capacity. There was a time in back in the 20th century, the overall political left, not the communist nutters, but the liberal left and the, the social democrats, as we call them, they had at least they had intellectuality. They had some sort of capacity to be able to be intelligent, to have some acad academia as, as a background, not as the main excuse of being superior. Even, even though back then I still would have disagreed with a lot of them, but at least they were more grown up than these idiots. But that is the issue of the modern Western culture of wokeism. <clears throat> anyway, let's take a quick break. We're going to come back in half an hour. We're going to talk to you guys about all the interviews that happened over the last couple of days <clears throat> on Sky News. And we're going to react to the mainstream media now because the Labour Party have been exposed a little bit based on their new policies on migration and border control. Subscribe to the channel. Amaya TC and we are the media.